What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It's Joey. And it's David. And this is another Downtown Brew Review. No idea what that sound was. But anyway, uh, today we've got something from Brick City. We've, uh, dude, I must have just dropped that, and that would have been really bad. But anyway, this is the second time Brick City is appearing on this, uh, you know, channel. And uh, last time it was, it was a pretty big hit. It was a sour in collab with, uh, uh, damn, uh, Definitive Brewing. Yes, yes, yeah. the late night Alamo, yeah. late night jams. Yeah, so this is a milkshake. It's called Fit for a King. And uh, let me read the description on this one for it. This is a peach cobbler style double IPA brewed with lactose and conditioned on cinnamon, graham crackers, and ridiculous amounts of peach puree. Notes of juicy peaches and pie crust. It's a liquid version of one of our favorite desserts with a scoop of ice cream. That sounds really good. It looks really good. But does it taste good? We'll see. I don't know what like the front of this can is. I can't really put this on. Looks like royalty. Oh, obviously it's called Fit for a King. So there's a king on it. Yes. So, um, as far as the color looks, kind of just looks like a traditional milkshake. It's nice and thick. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, smell. Let's let's give go ahead. This. Smell it. Smell. Yeah, you smell it. Uh, okay. Smells like a an IPA if I've ever smelled one. Does not smell like wet dog today. Yeah, I kind of get like the peach. Yeah. Puree, just like right off the bat, off the smell. So, I mean, if that's how it tastes, I already have tasted it, and I uh, definitely got the peach first time i tried it it had i got it like overwhelmed by cinnamon so we'll see how it uh how it treats me this time all right Ooh. okay i like how it has that um you know it's hoppy it's double so it's it definitely you can definitely tell um, I get some cinnamon in there. It's not crazy heavy on the cinnamon. Not so much that I taste the pie crust-ish, but I think that's what this whole cinnamon is, is about. But I definitely taste the peach. Um, I like it. I'm not mad about it. Yeah, I like it. Uh, as far as, like, the flavors that they're going for, the peach, it's there. Um, you have the graham cracker, which I feel like could be a little bit more, yeah. like, uh, present. But then they have the cinnamon, which I feel like is definitely present still. It's not, like, really as bad as, like, I kind of remembered it. So that's, that's good. Um, it's a, that's, maybe it just, like, smoothed out over time. I don't know. But overall, it's a pretty good beer. I, I'm happy with it. So. All right. So, um, what do we think? Do we do it on, on three? Um, so I already rated it once, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do mine real quick. Uh, the first one I ever rated it, I gave it a four two five, and I'm here today to tell you that I was right the first time. I think I'm still giving it a four two five. Okay. Yeah, I am gonna give it a four two five as well. Um, it's good. They hit most of what they were going for. Could they have gone more with the graham cracker? I mean, they could have, but then, I don't know. I feel like graham crackers, if they use cinnamon-type graham crackers, then they, like, you taste cinnamon more. Um, so I didn't really get that. You definitely taste the peach. Smells good, looks good, tastes great. Hey, that's pretty good. And it's better than what the, what it's averaged on, on tapped, which is 4.09. Yeah, and, like... 4.09 still not bad. So when you go oh, and, yeah. and look at this, you're gonna be like, "All right, I expect to have a pretty good beer here." I and, could drink. I could drink all this by myself. You'll get what you expect out of this beer. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good beer. I um, could. Yeah, and I could even have another one if I really wanted to. It's very smooth. Very smooth. So um yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're keeping up with hockey. That's awesome. It started on Wednesday. Uh, the teams, I want to say across the board, they are bringing in some heat this year. Yeah. Like, all the teams just look, like, really good. Yeah. And it's got that playoff vibe to it already. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and it's it's crazy because it's like, 
you know, we they've been off season for so long. But for some of the teams that have actually made it to the playoffs, they pl- you know they didn't have off as long as the other teams that didn't make playoffs. You have some teams that didn't play since like March, and you have other teams that like played like back in August. So that's like a big jump. Like Dallas is still all effed up because of playoffs, and uh, then you have teams like Buffalo and like San Jose. They're just like. Yeah, we haven't played in, like, you know, pretty much a year. <laughs> so. And then you got uh, Tampa. Tampa, Tampa's they just... killing it. That, like... The, I don't think the Blackhawks are too much of a challenge. So I'll, I'll, I'll reserve my, you know, but amazement. But. The fact that their game was just, like... I don't know, was it a shutout? Was it? Yeah, I think it was, like, 5 nothing. Yeah, Actually, okay. No, no, no. They did get a goal. It was strewn, but it was kind of like a lucky goal. Like, it was... I, I don't think that was, like... Maybe it was intentional. I don't know, but it was... A weird bounce. But either way, they're they're playing like they they, like they they're the reigning champs. You know what I mean? And they are. So yeah. Um, Penguins could do a little better. They're playing the night, so hopefully game two rematch against the Flyers goes a little better for them. Get some redemption. Oilers got their redemption. We did. Yes, we did. It was very. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. It was very embarrassing. I mean, I'm not going to say that... It wasn't uh, that bad. It, was, it wasn't that bad, no, because uh, the Canucks are actually a really solid team. Um, and they were just not giving up any points whatsoever. I mean, we're talking like maybe three minutes yeah, but left Nick, of the period until one team actually scored. Nick David, though, he turned on the Jets last night. And <laughs> oh, he, my God. He was back to his former self. He so was, I'm like, not, unstoppable. I'm not worried about those guys. Yeah. Um... Yeah, but as far as, like, giving a shout-out to a band, uh, I'm going to give a shout-out to Sleep Sculptor. They uh, probably don't need the shout-out. They're doing pretty well for themselves. Um, I haven't actually personally gotten to play with them, so it's the first band I'm giving a shout-out to that, you know, just I just like. <laughs> so, nice. Uh, yep, nice mathy, very heavy. Um, two vocalists, heavy, low, you know, high screams, okay, low screams. So, like, for the people that don't understand, like, mathy explain that in like the easiest way possible without going too long i'm just gonna say the riffs are like really like crazy unorthodox time signatures are just a little bit hard to follow but um anyway other than that that's all we got for uh the entire video uh good beer good hockey good bands can't really this is like more. the best of all worlds. Best exactly. Of, best of it's all a, it's worlds. A win-win, so. Yeah. So, um, like, comment, subscribe. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, you know, we're not gonna stop no matter what. So, keep up the support, and uh, we'll support you. Um, until next time, this has been an, a Downtune Brew review. Stay classy.